Hey, welcome to this radio video and um, I wanted to uh, actually show you guys a little bit of the uh, web SDR receiver uh, at uh, Twente in the Netherlands in the Netherlands. Uh, first of all, if you want to use it, just go to web sdr.org I'll put the link in the details below the video here you get a list of all SDR receivers online now be careful because in the list you have the frequency range so you see that the receivers all have frequency range that you can tune so you cannot tune anywhere else than what is written in the frequency range here um, from what I see in the list there's only one receiver that is actually full band and it's the one uh, in the Netherlands here uh, at University of Twente um, I hope I pronounced it right um, 260 users right now to give you an idea of how uh, it is used what you do is simply click on it you know you click the link of University of Twente just the link in the first one and immediately you'll get sent to the web SDR at the top you see the picture of what it looks like and below you get the waterfall and the frequency that you can tune all you have to do is click on the little box here tune a frequency you want for example if I want to listen to uh, at this time BBC in French 15105 I'll just type 15105 press enter click AM mode Great signal there in the Netherlands from the BBC, from Ascension Islands. Whatever frequency you want to tune, let's say 15 megahertz for time signals. It's a very weak time signal. Uh, you have the little plus and minus signs and you have the modes on the right so depending on what you want to tune so for example if I want to tune um, let's see if I can receive aviation weather from New York or Gander on 13270 I'll tune it put it in upper sideband nothing here we'll just tune around and if you want to tune slowly the bands, well, you use the little plus or minus signs. Uh, one plus and sideband is equivalent to uh, 10 hertz at a time. The two pluses, 100 hertz, uh, 500 hertz, sorry. And the three plus is one. Here, what we have? We have 62. It's two, two and a half kilohertz. If you are in AM mode, one plus is 100 hertz. 2 plus is 1 kilohertz and 3 plus is 5 kilohertz at a time. So you can tune up or down depending on what you want to do. The minuses go down, the plus goes up. So for example, uh, from my BBC frequency of 15105, I want to tune up. What is nice is the response is almost immediate. This is Oman. So this is a very nice uh, receiver to tune around the bands. So simply tune whatever frequency range you want to you want to hear and uh, tune up or down. Uh, what's also nice about this receiver, which is very, very cool, is that you can record. So, for example, if you tune, let's say I tune BBC again on 15105, and I want to record it on the right, you have audio recording. Below the S meter, you get audio recording. And so you can click Start. And it gives you the size of the file in kilobytes that it's recording. So keep in mind that this is what you're going to download after 
So the bigger it is, the longer it is, and it depends on your internet connection. Let's say I'm going to stop here. And here you go. I just stopped. So as soon as I stopped, on, it changed the, the interface look, and I have next to audio recording, download. If I click download, and here I get a WAV file that's downloaded to my computer that now I can listen to whenever I want. So it's a great, great place to go if you want to record something off the shortwave bands easily and get it on your computer as a uh, digital WAV file, which is pretty cool. So, you know, there's just so much to do with this receiver. Um, of all the receivers that I've tested, I must say that this one is actually very good at receiving signals. Uh, great setup and not too much noise. So you can really, really DX almost some even weak signals with this receiver. Remember that it's in the Netherlands. So um, if you want to use, for example, the EIBI list of uh, shortwave, um, of course, you'll want to check for uh, any um, transmissions to Europe, for example. So here, for example, we get, um, let's say, uh, okay, there's Radio Rwanda. Let's see for Europe what we have. So here we have something that's going to be easy to receive in Europe, if possible. Um, Voice of Vietnam to Europe. Right now we're 18 to 1830 UT, so uh, let's try 9730, Voice of Vietnam to Europe. 9730, enter. Uh, am I in the right thing? Oh, that's interesting, it says English, 18, 1830, but I actually don't have English. Let's try 7280. 7280. Well, that's interesting. It seems to be uh, kind of difficult to receive voice of Vietnam in Europe. Let's try Western Europe 5955. 5955. And here you are, voice of Vietnam. What is also very cool over this receiver that I can show you is the fact that if you have a smartphone, like here I have an iPhone, I just go to the uh, web SDR page and get the University of 20 uh, page. So I'm going to show you here. You have the waterfall and of course this being a uh, portable receiver you can switch on the red line here you can switch to the mobile version of the page which is made for phones. And you got the frequency and in iOS I have to click the iOS start and here you hear the sound. Let me tune Vietnam on 5955. 5955. Five, go. And here you go. To withdraw its troops, a mission ended in 2006. When Prime Minister Shinzo Abe re-elected in 2012, he continued his efforts to strengthen Japan's role in the international arena. Over the past two years. So this is cool because it means that you can tune even with mobile devices. You're somewhere, you got your smartphone with you. You can actually tune the receiver anywhere you are in a park. You just want to listen to shortwave from this uh, European receiver. It works really well. One word of caution though, this uses bad wind. So it means that the internet counter is rolling. If you are limited in your um, smartphone plan, be careful not to overdo it or you're gonna get one of those huge bills. 
Uh, same thing for the internet, you know, if you let this receiver run all day long, uh, remember that it does, uh, you know, contribute to your um, data plan. So, um, in my case, I don't mind because I've got unlimited internet. But um, if you have a limit every month for the, the, the number or the uh, quantity of data, uh, be careful because that is something that can actually uh, be bad. Another thing that you can uh, do to lower the bandwidth if you only need audio is to put the little check mark in blind above the waterfall. That removes the waterfall because that waterfall is also contributing to something, um, you know, to, to that data that you're downloading. So the less you have, the more it is, and just audio usually isn't too bad, actually. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm going to put the link on the top of the, um, just below on the comments in the video. And um, why not have fun? Which is cool about this receiver also is that we can be multiple users and still use the radio. It's not like global tuners where you need to, uh, you know, if someone's using it, you need to ask permission and so on because it's only one user at a time. This one is really as many users as you want. Uh, or, you know, there's a limit, but I've never s seen it reach, actually. So it's really cool for that. So uh, have fun tuning the bands and uh, why not play with this? And if you're looking at my channel, my videos, you have no shortwave receivers. This is a fantastic place to tune around the bands and have fun listening to shortwave even without a shortwave radio so uh, have fun 73